Meghan Markle once made a bold statement in her now-defunct blog in the years before she met Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex was an active humanitarian in her days before royal life and often worked with several charities. Meghan was also an advocate with the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women and has always been an outspoken feminist. Writing in her blog, The Tig, Meghan spoke of her time as an advocate for UN Women where she spent time in the Gam refugee camp in Rwanda. Reflecting on the work that she had done in the country, Meghan realized that she must use her relative fame and status to speak of the issues affecting so many people around the world. Soon after her Rwanda trip, Meghan gave a speech for International Women's Day Meghan and finally had a moment of clarity. Writing in her blog she said, I've never wanted to be a lady who lunches, I've always wanted to be a woman who works. And this type of work is what feeds my soul, and fuels my purpose. The moment came after the UN Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon led a standing ovation following Meghan's speech. While receiving the applause, Meghan stated, This right here, this is the point. Since Meghan met Harry, she has continued her charitable work and has taken up several patronages. Reflecting on her interest in the arts, women's empowerment and education, Meghan has become a patron for Mayhew, Smart Works, the National Theatre and the Association of Commonwealth Universities. In March of this year, was also appointed Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Since giving birth to her child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, Meghan has been unable to carry out any of her royal duties. Much to the joy of many royal fans, however, Meghan made her first appearance since giving birth at the Trooping the Color. Unfortunately for Meghan, however, the Duchess has been kept busy by her newborn. Royal biographer, Katie Nichol told ET, Meghan's been up in the night nursing, feeding on demand every few hours. Apparently he's a hungry little baby.